Hi, I'm Lene. I'm Bess. And we have a game here we're going to look at, and it's way fun. So let's hear about it. I mean, you're biased because you are the world champion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is a game about quickly grabbing creatures that are totally different and counting your turnips or beetroots or radishes. So you've got creatures with one eye, two eyes, three eyes, or sometimes no eyes. They might have two tentacles, four arms, six wings, a tail, four legs or two legs. And each creature, let's say this was the top of my pile. I cannot grab this because it has three eyes. I cannot grab these because they have four legs. This one has tentacles. I cannot grab any of these. So maybe I can grab a beetroot. Now I can go boom. This creature is in my hand. And now this creature is totally different. The head, the body, the legs. And now I can carry on grabbing, but each creature must be totally different. Now the reason you don't want to just do beetroot, creature, beetroot, creature, beetroot, creature for the entire game is because you are only allowed five. If you have more than five portions of fruit and veg, then you've just been too greedy. Now this is a, I like to think it's a fun game. And everyone gets some points. It's not all about everyone's hands in the middle slapping. It's, even if you're slower, you will get some points. And if you don't, if you make any mistakes, you lose. But if you don't, you feel a satisfaction to say, yeah, I only got 10 points, but I got it, I managed it. But then, if you want to increase, of course, the person with the most cards wins the most. But if you want to increase the complexity, go with the radish deck. Now, the creatures are doing little things like holding their legs together so it's hard to see, so it looks more like a tail, or they might be dancing around. Some of the radishes are arranged to look like creatures. Some of them are a bit more exciting. And then most importantly, there's little stuffed toys. This is not a creature. This is a radish card with a stuffed toy. And don't be confused by these. Now, this isn't going to confuse you when you pick it up. I don't think anyone's ever made that mistake, but what it does is when you're scanning the table, looking for that extra card, it just takes you maybe half a second longer per card. And when you're looking at an entire deck, that really slows you down. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you feel about being the world champion of this game? <laughs> Pretty fine. <laughs> I'm not quick at the game, so... I mean, you were quicker than anyone else. Yeah, but I don't feel quick. I feel like I'm going like, oh, this and this and this. But it's all about being... It's not about... Uh, uh, no, exactly. It's you about, okay, that's what, that's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. And if you're able to analyze it in your mind, to quickly look at the table, mm. because it all starts face down. Yeah. So on the table, um, if we move these to the side, everything is flipped face down. You just flip over a card. It's like, Oh, does this? Oh, does this match? Uh, no, it doesn't. Does this match? Oh, um, yes, it. No, it doesn't because there's four arms, and that's the radish deck. Yeah, that's and, tricky. And then eventually you just start looking at what other people have flipped over. So now I might be like, Oh, Lena flipped this over, but I can take this. Haha! -ha, I grabbed it away from you. And if you take from the table, then you're also ruining it for other people. And that's the game. I'm, I mean, I'm biased, and I know this sounds egocentric, but I'm quite proud of it, and I hope that people have a lot of fun with it. I feel like you should be proud of it too, it's really nice. Thank you very much. I enjoyed playing it. And it's lovely to see you. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye.